Both teams understanding the urgency of tonight's Game 4. Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski. Welcome back to EA Sports' continuing coverage of the playoffs. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. This is what you played for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Taken along the wall by Mitchell. Providence has got it in their own zone. Slides the puck to Lopo. Grabs it in his own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And it's a quick pass to Johnston. Shot from inside James that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Bridgeport's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James. And, and that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the floor check, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. Pushes it across to Olivier. The Bruins ready to go on the attack. And that's intercepted by Bartro. Bridgeport's looking to break out. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Shuts him down. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical. And you're like, he's got a step. Oh, it just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight. When you're in tight, you run out of room and you run out of option as well. You've got to find a way to get the puck to the net. Lots of time left in this period. The Islanders lead it 1-0. Bridgeport's going to start with the puck in their own end. And here's the pass to 2-4. Break away! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking, and makes that save. Scooped up along the wall by Booty. Bordeaux's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. More than half the period left to play. Bridgeport's ahead, 1-0. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes a shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Cutler. Answered the call on that play. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Just a crushing hit against the wall. Sends it out in front. Picked off in front. Across the line along the left wall. And he takes the feed. Takes the pass. Walsh has got the puck. Centering feed. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Here they come on the attack. Oh, what a hit against the boards. Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Fires it. Nothing doing. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. On the attack along the boards. Cuts to the front. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Takes the feed up ahead. And that's poked away. Pushes it across to Montreal. Bridgeport's got it along the wall. Great save. Played it perfect. Here's a shot.
Bridgeport's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Tried the corner, but it goes off the side of the net. Here's a rip. Denies him with the save. Here's a stretch pass to Sarasati. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. With possession along the wall. Quick shot. Blocker save. Here's a shot. Good shot. Goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. The Islanders wanted to generate a lot of offense going into this one. They have succeeded in that game plan already here late in the first. Moves it around along the half wall. Holmstrom sliding the puck behind the net. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Came up with the save on that play. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. Came down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control. That's the reason why you took a penalty. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. And sends it just out of reach. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. From the open ice, they gain the line. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Mete's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Valenza's a star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. Copley's rock solid between the pipes. He can bail out his team and give them a chance to win on a nightly basis. Now, these are impact players, and I'm expecting one of them to leave their mark on this one here tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Holmstrom's moving the puck through his own zone. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Along the half wall with the puck. Providence's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Kirk's got it through center. Moves it quickly over, and they score! What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Providence is still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Kubiak's won the draw center. The Islanders played along the boards. Providence has got the puck along the wall. Inside the final minute of the first here. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Islanders have been rewarded with the lead here late in this first period with all the shots they put on net. Kubiak's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Grabs the puck at center. Picked up along the wall by Mitchell. Takes the feed from the left side. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Devils had an impressive start to the game, and they need to continue that. He scores! There's the hat trick in Leonard Ray Chapeau! Yeah, Ray Chapeau is right there. That's all over the ice. They're going to have to collect them. Uh, this is going to take some time. But man, has he ever had an effective night? He had two, and he was thinking three all the way. But you got to love the resilience on this goal. He gets the first shot off, but he continues to track the puck. Good hand-eye court 
determination to collect it and rip it home. Second shot opportunity goes in. The Islanders look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice. And then they're executing on their opportunities. It's a reason why they hold the lead. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Melko's the leader of this team. And who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum. Everyone jumps on board. This game is not out of reach yet. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Holmstrom's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. Gets in front of it. He's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, his team's played well. They've got going north. They've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Here's a feed in front. And that's stopped. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Bridgeport's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Oh, looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. And he coughs it up with the pass. Bridgeport's grabbed a hold of the puck. And he hangs on to the puck. Fires it on there. Thankfully, he had a mask on to make the save. Well, he's really feeling a play from earlier on the shift, James, and now he's wincing on his way back to the bench. He's going to need some assistance here to get off the ice. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if he'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Kubiak's won the draw there on the attack. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Shot! Why did that net? He missed! Well, you recognize that it's a game of inches, James, and this is on full display right here. This is a great shot. Doesn't... Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. you got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Providence's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Oh, and that one's going to hurt, but they still have an opportunity here on a four-on-three. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Dumps it in. Walsh is stick handling in his own zone. And he lowers the goal there. Bridgeport's added yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. Here they come on the attack. Shot! Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. The Islanders have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Just wide! Grabbed along the board by Mackey. Providence has got a small window to go to work here on this power play with the penalty expired. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net, to be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Sends the pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moves the puck along the half wall. And somehow he hangs on. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. 
The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides it across to Lauko. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! Unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it lines up in the back of the net. The Bruins have to send a message here and push back here, Cheryl. They've got something to build on at least. Yeah, they do, and they've had the puck on their stick. They had the majority of the possession time. It just hasn't been going their way. They're trailing in this one, but if they can keep that possession time and recognize when to attack the net, they can get back. Scrum ensues along the boards. Taken along the wall by Olivier. Here's a chance. Denies it in front. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. More than half the frame has been played here. Providence has got a long way to go to try to get out of this jam as they trail by three. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Bridgeport's gained the line and into the zone. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. The Bruins have it now. Takes the return feed. Providence has got the puck against the half wall. Scoops up the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Man, James, he shows incredible thickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Handles it along the blue line. Stones him in front. Mackey's not going to be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. just received the news that they will be down a player for this game so now they'll have to manipulate their bench and find a way to manage it throughout the rest of this game wow here we go let's see how this unfolds over the stretch of this game now great four check by hall providence has got possession of the puck here's a short pass to maggio moves along the boards with some purpose providence has got possession here in the neutral zone that knocks him off the puck Feeds it on over to Helgeson. Bridgeport's got it against the boards. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Here's a chance, sends it in front, and that goes off the body and a ride. Getting into the later stages of this period, Bridgeport's got a three-goal lead here. They're up 5-2. The Islanders come up with a defensive zone draw. Takes it to the front! Pads save, and the goalie made it look easy. Bridgeport's gained possession along the boards. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Shot, and it takes off the iron! Bridgeport's been having their way with their opponent all night long, and the offensive zone has been all traffic any which way they want and getting shots off at will. This one goes off the post, but really doesn't matter. They've got such a healthy cushion. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Devils have a comfortable lead here in the third period, James. They do not have to change a thing. Don't alter the game plan, just close it out. Picked up along the boards by Mackey. Bridgeport's got the puck here in the open ice. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Feeds the puck across to Mackey. Center and feed. Can't 
connect the play. Point shot, and he gets in front of the slap shot to make the save. Gains the zone through center. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Bellows. The Islanders get a hold of the puck. Dufour's got it along the wing. Jabs the puck away. Providence has got a hold of it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Booty. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Islanders take it along the wing. Taken by Kubiak. And now it's grabbed by Kirk. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Stop that one. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Takes the feed moving in. Centering feed. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. The Bruins still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Providence has got it and they're on the attack. Stops and cold. Copley's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well and he holds on for the whistle. Off the face, off they take the puck. The Islanders take it along the wall. And they'll dump it in. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Here's a chance! Denies him on the play! Copley's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, it's a 5-2 hockey game. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Battle along the wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Providence has got the puck along the boards. Here's a block. Puts it in deep. Slides it across to Kaiser. And he takes the feed. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't connect. Scooped up along the wall by Sirizzati. Maggio's got it in the defensive end. Shot. Denies him with the pad. Slides the puck across to Sirizzati. Into the corner of the attacking area. And he makes that save as well. From behind the net. Quick feed to Rapula. And that one's denied. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. While we have a moment, let's send it down ringside with our own Carlin Bay. Copley's been able to hold his own in the crease, guys, and hasn't given up much. So he's got my vote in this one. The Islanders win the defensive zone faceoff. Moves the puck to Johnston. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Right up the gun, here they go. Here we go, on man rush. Picked off by Bartro. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Up along the wing. Pumps it away here in the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. And he turned that one aside. Oh, what another stop. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Here in the late goings of the period, Bridgeport's got a 5-2 lead. Providence has won the defensive zone draw. Now he slides it up to Olivier. Here's a shot! Makes the save! Bridgeport's got a hold of the puck. Handles the pass. And they continue to apply pressure here. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here they are on the attack. 
The Bruins will play it against the wall. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Center and feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. Providence has got the puck against the boards. Here's a pass to Trent. And that's stopped. Bridgeport's got it in their own zone. Oh, what a chance here. Oh, it's stayed out. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Moves it to Kirk. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And that pass is redirected. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. The Bruins have definitely gone with the shoot-first mentality tonight, but they continue to trail late in this third period. Solid check to slow down. Picked up along the wall by Dufour. Moves it quickly over to Kubiak. is wild in the series and I don't think anybody expected anything less than this. Uh, best teams going back and forth and at this point in the series they played four and they've got to be tired. They've got to be physically and emotionally exhausted James. So now it's about bringing it right to the end. It's almost like series within a series and now that they're locked dead a piece here at twos it's going to be interesting to see who gets the go ahead in the next game. Well that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James